Welcome to the Norwegian Epic. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a cabin tour of our cabin on the Norwegian Epic. We are on deck 13 in cabin 13085. So let's take a look at this room. I'm Sarah and this is my husband, Alan. We work nine to fives, but use our vacation time to cruise, visit resorts, check out new cities, camp, and find awesome food and breweries along the way. Stick around for videos on things to do, tours, and helpful travel tips. In our last video, we boarded the Norwegian Epic and I shared our first day experience. So don't forget to check that out if you wanna know more about our boarding and what we got up to. But now I'll share our balcony cabin. Starting outside the room, you have a wheel on your door number you can turn with four options. Welcome, make up cabin, turn down cabin, and do not disturb. To get inside, you can scan your ship card because it acts as your room key as well. I must say that this is one of the oddest cabins I've ever had in our cruising history because the shower and the toilet are separate and they're kind of like right out in the middle of the room. So let me show you what that looks like. This is the door to the outside. This is the shower. And right across from it, this is the toilet. The toilet room has a small garbage can and there is a sliding frosted glass door for privacy. Right across is the shower area, there's shampoo and conditioner and body wash provided. And there's also a frosted glass door. The curtain can be pulled across for some additional privacy. The sink area is out in the open in the room and there's a medicine cabinet above with storage. There are a bunch of towel hooks on the side of the shower wall and the bath mat is on the lower hook by the door to the hallway. Under the sink there is a drawer for storage, a drawer for used towels, and a Kleenex dispenser. Across from the sink area is a couch with a storage shelf behind it. And across from the couch is the wardrobe with a full length mirror. There were lots of hangers inside the wardrobe and at the bottom is where our life jackets were stored. But there was also some room for some other items and it's where we ended up keeping our shoes to keep them out of the way. Inside there was also another bar that you could use if you needed two hangers for clothes. We didn't so we kept it where it was. There were also some hangers and hooks on the doors. Beside the wardrobe was a cabinet with two shelves and on the middle one was the safe. It was pretty small, just like other ships we've been on, so only smaller items will fit inside. The desk or vanity area had a hair dryer, stool, garbage can, mini fridge stocked with water, that was an extra charge, and there were plugs in the left cabinet with a hole so that you could bring the cords up to the countertop. And there was even more storage below.
There were also two more cabinets with wire storage bins on the doors. Above that was the TV, and we used the corner where the connecting door was as a storage spot for our suitcases, backpacks, and my magnetic hooks for even more hanging storage. There was a reading light on both sides of the bed and some small shelves, but there were no plugs that we found beside the bed. Above the bed, there was another cupboard for storage, but we never actually used that one. And for safety, the emergency instructions are located on the back of the door to the hallway. My favorite part of the cabin was the balcony. Even in port, it was nice to go out there and sit on the chairs to get some fresh air and sunshine for me and shade for Alan. It wasn't a large balcony, but it was great for the additional space. And if you're connecting with the rooms beside you, they can open the balconies to connect as well so that you can go between them. Now let's hear what I thought after spending an entire week in the cabin. All right, we have been on the ship now for a full week, our last day is today, and we're getting off tomorrow very sadly. I wanted to show you what it actually looks like when we are in this room with everything unpacked, and it's a little chaotic and messy, but I wanted to show you just how it is for two people in a cabin. You can probably be a little bit more tidy than us, but we're just living our life here on vacation. So over in this corner, we actually have a door to the other room. So this is a connecting cabin, but I've brought all of these hooks, which are quite strong and they keep all of our stuff organized over here. So we are using these hooks. There are some hooks here that are already built in, but as you can see below, like they're broken. So we're not using those ones. The top ones are kind of wiggly too. There's even more storage up here, which we never used. And there's some cubbies down here, but they're very tiny cubbies. So I just have my face mask in this one. And the bathroom situation is pretty awful. That's as much privacy as you get if you are in the shower or in the toilet area. There are doors to both the shower and the toilet and the sink is just out here in the open. So if you're brushing your teeth and someone's in bed, they're gonna hear you. If you're doing literally anything else in the bathroom, whoever's in the room is going to hear you. So whatever's going on in these two little cubbies over here, if you'd wanna leave while someone's in the shower or the bathroom, it's very disruptive. So just something to note, if you're coming on this ship, be very comfortable with whoever you're sharing a cabin with because there really isn't any privacy. However, this curtain is good if you wanted to like change behind the curtain as long as nobody's coming in the door here um, or on, on the other side you could, but it's quite open so that's something to note. And it has been kind of awkward throughout the trip, but we're married, we've been together for a long time, it's fine. But if you are traveling with anyone you're not super comfortable with, just something to note. The balcony area, super great. We love that. We like to be able to see when we're coming in port and out of port. It's really fun also to watch the pier runners if you are facing that way. So we did see a couple of runners on this trip. Luckily, they did make it back to the ship. And otherwise, like the room has been pretty nice. The beds are kind of hard. Lots of storage if you need lots of storage, like a couple shelves, lots of hanging options, etc. But Overall, pretty happy with this room, except for the bathroom situation. Well, I hope this video can be helpful for you if you're planning a cruise on the Norwegian Epic and you're thinking about getting a balcony cabin. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, 
subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Coming up, I'll be sharing a full walkthrough of the Norwegian epic and sharing more about what we got up to in each of our ports.